Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's antiwar.com. Are you sick of seeing peaceful people being locked away for victimless crimes? Instead of trying to get out of jury duty, consider taking it so you can do the right thing. A single juror with a conscience can send someone home to their family instead of to a jail cell. If there's no victim, how can there be a crime? And if the judge or prosecutor are keeping you in the dark, what are they trying to hide? You can vote your conscience instead of being a pawn of the state. For more information, Google jury nullification or check out the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Oh, but Dave, then the, then the warlords would take over. Then we'd have, you know... Crazy, aka Ed, another cra- person would try to be forming a state, so we should no, kill them. No, no, we would have anarchists with like recreational nukes just killing each other left and right. <laughs> Phones would be exploding on by our faces, you know, food would be toxic, uh, just horrible. Like the, the, the sun would explode, <laughs> you know, it'd be perpetual night, the world would die. Okay, <sighs> cats and dogs living, the together. water filters would be useless, utter chaos, utter chaos. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 103rd episode of the Seeds of Liberty podcast. 103. As always, we are covered by a BIPCOT no government license. This allows reuse by anyone except governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more information about this at BIPCOT.org. So this week we are brought to you by Fiendphone and once again by the now rebranded Room for Freedom. It used to be the uh, Freedom b and uh, that's a whole story we may have to get into. Room it, so. for Freedom is catchy too. I, uh, like I know. I kind of like this. I actually kind of like this one. Um, but I'll, I like both names. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, I am Jeremy. I'm joined as always by Dave. And we have Andre back with this week with us again. Hey, Andre. Hey, Dave. What's up, hey, guys? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, having yeah. a wonderful day, man. Excellent. excellent. Always. Always. Yeah. My Any day I get to end it basically talking to you guys about liberty, I, I look forward to it all week. I, I really do. I look forward to it all week. You that think, sounds creepy and stalkerish, but sure. See, okay, see, we'll I, go with that. See, now I was going to go with you. Think he'd be better prepared for somebody who looks forward to this all week, but we still run into problems. <laughs> One hundred and three episodes. Actually, yeah, we, we just fixed. Uh, we fixed probably a what fifty episode problem. Yeah, we. we yeah, <laughs> one, of, one of Dave's audio problems with his background noise that we could never get rid of was just solved by Dave finally pulling his beard out of his headphones, which I've repeatedly made asked him to make sure his hair but apparently <laughs> he only, because i only said hair that meant dave only focused on the hair on his head any other yeah, hair in exactly any other location did not take it, it, it meant nothing it meant nothing whatsoever i just didn't it could think just it was that it was. big i just realized it i just i just was like I've, well maybe my beard is leaking out and so i pulled the, my finger up through the, the 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 tight headphone and it just went it just pulled out a big chunk of hair and i was like well <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah and it's still not perfect but it's much better than it was the background noise i was hearing is gone because like i said you were creating an air leak that like all it takes is a tiny little gap like that's why these headphones are designed to be tight you put tight on your head and like squished against your ears so you seal in as much as you possibly can giggity and that's why I ended up having to replace mine uh, six months ago because using them constantly between this show and the fiends and all the other shows that I do, the uh, they just wear out. So and yeah, they you, do. Just you were dealing with head. you were dealing with ones that were a few years like were a couple of years old before we started the show. So you know, and, yeah. And your beard did not. They were help. old, and my beard was old as well. So it was a bad combo. Old beard. <laughs> old beard equal bad audio. Yeah. <laughs> Well, exactly. Yeah, bad, bad beards are a hate crime, Dave. So, uh, and your beard has been very, very bad. As as Andre, I what, will what, agree. You know, I've always been 
I've always been on the fence on the bad audio thing because I've, I've felt that as long as it's like, I mean, cause if like, it's the best audio you got at the time and you're groundbreaking stuff, like, let's say you're an investigative journalist or whatnot, you know, use whatever you got. But, uh, the beard thing I can't agree with, you know, like, uh, <laughs> bad beards are a hate crime. We should have some laws against bad beards. Seriously. Man. There ought to be a law for that. There really yeah. should. Yeah. There yeah. Should if be. you're putting flowers and or, and or sp- sprinkles and or fairy dust just shave it off just do it just <laughs> do all the real men in the world out there a favor and shave donate it off. The, donate to, to, to glitter the, donate it to the oh, follically God, I challenge punch people instead. in the face people like that should donate it to the to, to the face follically challenge like me who can't grow a beard because i'd be happy to take your beard and not put uh, p- fairy dust or sprinkles. Why would anybody would want beard wigs? Are those going to be a real thing in the future? <laughs> they they very well may be. They very well may be. They have to exist. They what's the one that they have for the uh, for your crotch? What's that one called? What? There's there's a there. What's the you lost? No me. no. There yeah, can't be. There is. No. What the heck is it? Uh, oh, is that a? There's a everything, Melvin? Andre. Why can't I think? No it's no. Whatever, there's not. Not yet. Of course there is. There's. I refuse to everything. believe that we have crotch hair implants before we have flying cars. <laughs> Priority. How could Andre, there possibly priorities. be more of a market demand for crotch hair replacement I than flying fucking cars? I don't know. How? I, I don't no. know. I, I, I'm I talking think, about uh, like, uh, like uh, having pube Why wigs. I think it is that. Anyway, you know what you're talking about? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, before before we actually get started, uh, as I said at the, at the beginning, uh, I just wanted to mention yes, the Freedom B and B has been rebranded to Room for Freedom. Uh, the website is still hobosymbols.com. Although now room for freedom, freedom bed and breakfast, freedom B. Like, actually, I think freedom B and B was already taking, but like every other variation also redirects there as well. Um, well, that's good. Yeah, so that project is still moving along. I was actually uh, I have to talk to Ben tomorrow about some stuff because I was going to help him out with some because he's been doing like picture, well, essentially making memes for the Twitter page and stuff. And I was gonna, I just told him I would try to take over for him because he was having an issue figuring out how to do different fonts and stuff. And he's making everything really small and it's kind of hard to read. And I'm like, well, this is what I do most of the day anyway. So I might as well do that too. But yeah, I still, uh, the project project's moving right along. And I think, uh, donations are finally starting to come in at a little, you know, little, 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 uh, faster pace. So hopefully, uh, more people will hear that's awesome and want to help out. Yeah, this is as as I keep saying, things like this are how I see us, you know, yeah. quote unquote, us getting the freedom them so yeah. hard. Just any, you yeah, know. you have to outcompete them so hard. Can imagine, could you imagine if the state like made Facebook first? I mean, you can make the argument that they did, like it's a state creation, but if it was state controlled, like how miserable and like no one would use it. Like they have that in China. There's basically it's called a QQ, I think. Yeah, I think it's called QQ. Yeah, and uh, it's just basically a state ran Facebook that everyone has like you, <laughs> you yeah, have I, one created. I thought for they you. had that in Cuba too at one point, but I may be mistaken, but yeah, that's, I uh, I don't think they have, I would be very much in Cuba. I, yeah, I don't think they really have much internet at all in Cuba. Well, why not? I think all the people there like bounce off their sat phones if they got them. Ye- yeah. Well, they have they have to have something because w- weren't weren't those people you were talking to last year or two years ago, Dave? The anarcho uh, capitalistas weren't they all getting into Bitcoin and stuff down there? They have to be able to access the internet somehow. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not saying they don't have internet at all. I'm just saying like I don't think yeah, there's enough internet in, coverage in, in Cuba to even just to even justify the government bothering with, with it. The hot spot avail- availability and do that. Like the government like shuts those people down though. They like drive around and find like Wi-Fi signals and shut them down and stuff. Mm, yeah. bad, bad citizen. How dare you try to use the internet? How exactly. dare you try <laughs> to gain information that would prove our monopoly obsolete? You bad citizen, you. Seriously, man. So that's what it is. Yeah. They don't the more you know, you, you cannot be an informed slave. Unless you're just a pacifist C word, you know? Well, or you could be a, a I guess, a, what, a masochist. If you like the pain, you enjoy it. <laughs> you like being tread upon. C word, cuck. <laughs> well, I guess, yes. 
Yes, that is the new C word, by the way. That really is. It really it, it is. And normally I hate using it, although I did make that meme the other you day. You know what sucks so hard to is like me and a, a buddy, me and a couple of close friends started, uh, you know, just jokingly calling one of our buddies beta cuck. And I, <laughs> I think I called that somebody somewhere. And then ever since then, I've been seeing cuck everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, um, that cuck became the thing because of the alt right i mean this has been like four or five years so uh, i don't know well it's been it's i've i've heard it for a while i mean i remember when it was you know when it just when the word cuckold yeah just it's, meant cuckold it's just in and, your you know. it's almost in your it's in your auto field jeremy of course you see it a lot i actually so, did i did enter it the other day when i was writing something because it got annoying that i kept correcting it so now it is in my uh, now it is in my dick my uh autocorrect because I, I added it to the dictionary myself some people just open themselves wide open to just you got to call them it's like when someone's acting cunty you have to call them a cunt when someone's acting like an well, asshole that's not, you, you, call, don't, you don't have to you can you don't have to of course of course you you, you can always uh you know but why waste the but i'm the kind of guy that would like to be called whatever that i find well, funny so i don't know well i mean you, well you wasted opportunity sure but i mean you take certain people for instance if they're a certain way all the time and you just keep calling i mean if you could call me an asshole all day long it would probably be applicable but you'd just be wasting yeah. your breath because it's just not going to change anything i'm still going to be just as much of an asshole the next day maybe a little bit more actually it depends yeah, it's ingrained jeremy exactly so you know. it's deep down in there it's like the grinch so i mean i guess if you're somebody who's not an asshole who's acting like an asshole at some point maybe it might be a good idea well it may it may be necessary at some at some point to point out the fact that that person is being an asshole but if the person is generally an asshole it kind of seems redundant to point it out doesn't it well yeah but to yeah. be fair cuck's a little bit of a cuck's a, cuck's a little bit of a different animal because you can be an asshole an asshole has a couple of different connotations but what is being cuck? a cuck has one very specific definition and I mean, you can try to <laughs> I, I own it, you, but like I have my own in the process of owning it. it. Well, yeah, Dave just came up with this whole definition for it, but I, I mean, came up with it, my own definitions because I think it, it, it encapsulates what it actually mean, what it actually is. Well, and it's I, letting I, another man make decisions in your life for you. Well, that's where that meme got born born out of the other day with the military, the, the military members. For some, yeah, I still can't figure out like what would be the reason they would actually line up to take that picture but thank you it was a for for photoshop there was so, it was something else really that's impressive and wait so, what was this? someone photoshopped it into cuck <laughs> it was a bunch of military members spelling or, out I the word army spelling out the word cuck with their bodies oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. which just leaves no actually that probably could have been cuck that that actually probably could have been because i know that, that no no i saw the original the selection cycle what was the original? oh did you fuck yeah yeah i saw the original trust, yeah trust me I saw, what was it I, fuck when i when i find like when i when i find meme materials me, jeremy gets the uh refined stuff so i you just i don't go looking it's for it pictures uh, well that's what i was asking oh, sorry. I, no that's what i was asking yeah. i just, that's what i okay that, ma that makes sense yeah well i because I, I don't go looking for pictures like that i know a lot of people do people that scour you know the internet for pictures to use i just if they come along i use them and if you if people other people send me pictures i'm like okay i'll, I'll try to find a use for this that that one. i saw that and i was just like this is just too meta for our our little chambers that we're in <laughs> so andre's uh he's in law school and we and i have well, my no, inquisitions about you're these on things. your way no you, you want to be yes i you I'm want on to my be way in law there. school so What's the reasons behind that, man? You want to spill the beans on that? Well, yeah, we have. Well, I want to get into a job that pays me well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, uh, the my reasoning for it, 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 there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I want to have a graduate degree because I've always wanted to have a graduate degree. And my parents have always wanted me to have a graduate degree, which, you know, earlier on in life, I kind of resented that a little bit because the first time I went to college right out of high school, it wasn't what I expected and I was not in the right frame of mind to actually really take advantage of the opportunity. But now that I'm yeah. a little bit older, a little bit wiser, I'm like, yeah, you know, I actually kind of want to do something with it. I want to get into a specialized field, have a graduate degree and have, you know, a certification that says, Hey, look, I did this X, Y, and Z. But the other reason why I wanted to get into 
law specifically is because it's a three-year PhD, pretty much, that does not require you to do a dissertation um, and thesis. So I can I can essentially have the a doctorate degree in three years. Mm. It's one okay. of all. I what, think it's one of like two graduate degree programs that are like that. Are you going to go any kind of uh, political thing or or do anything like that with uh, this? Or are you going into a certain facet? I had thought about doing that before because like my you know back before I joined the arm or back before I joined the army. Um, I had wanted to go and be a police officer. And what I was thinking of doing with that career path was, you know, get my criminal justice degree, go join the police and in the process, you know, get my P my uh, law degree so that I can, you know, move on and be like a chief or whatever. And then from there, move on after I retire and go into politics, state politics. So oh, Jesus, since mega that's not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like from from the, from the boot on your neck to the guy telling the boot on the neck on your neck. I but uh, no, since that's no longer a a valid uh, career course. No, what I want to do now is I want to focus mostly on uh, contract law and torts, like civil litigation. Hmm. So you want to be setting yourself up to be maybe possibly an arbiter? Uh, yes, this, arbitration is what I would system. like to do. Yes. Now, now, now. Granted, arbitration in the United States, where where it does happen, is still a very heavily regulated industry because it's essentially the court saying, "Oh, okay, well, you can act in our stead, but only because we let you." Like you can't just you can't just like randomly arbitrate agreements and then, you know, expect the court to honor them because that's just not going to happen. Pretty much. The only case that that happens is sometimes maybe they give you that in divorce court when you have a married marital settlement agreement and you both both parties like outline everything and they agree to it and sign it. But even then the court can be like, yeah, no, we're not going to take that. Uh, you dude have to pay alimony and child support or you chick have to pay child support, period. It's done. Uh, I don't care what that contract says. I'm the state. I'm the judge of the court and too bad. The two of you are not capable of figuring out an agreement on your own. You're too stupid to be able to do that. So we're going to have to make well, sure. That's, that <laughs> that's the basis of exactly. pretty much all of the state. Well, You're yeah. too stupid to to, to uh, agree on a private uh, contractor to uh, defend the city. You're too stupid to... Uh, privately contract out the trash service you're too stupid yeah it's always let us fix it because you're too stupid and it's all exactly. really simple stuff i mean you you know how easy it is to subscribe to netflix and unsubscribe to netflix like that's pretty much how everything in the marketplace should be as far as ease well i mean and that's how and, and that's um, how it would be that's really how it would be well, that's and that's it's just uh, not how it is. That's an interesting note because that's going to lead into our, our hopeful conversation for next week. Actually, the ability to sort of opt yeah. out of government more. Uh, if our, our, our guest Donnie. Yeah, Gebbard. me and Donnie talked. So yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah, that should be. So that should be. Interesting that's legit. Too. Yeah, I didn't mean to sidetrack us there, but you, that you made that point. It's like, yeah, that's actually the idea he has to kind of automate Congress and work on making more of an a la carte menu for people. So. Uh, opting out of things would be uh, would be a beautiful I mean, thing. Peop, I've I've I figured it out. People are gonna always want a governance. Okay, the state is the issue here. Okay, once you take this forced collectivized monopoly out of the situation, people can figure this this stuff out. The rest of it's very easy. Oh, hey, we want these rules over here. You can't go in this this geographical location unless you agree to these rules. That's how it would be without the state. <laughs> the state says, "Hey, you're in this area. Guess what? We tell you what to do." Yeah, and you ain't got no say so in it. Yes, it's well, it's like what covenant communities are supposed to be, right? Like exactly, you have a group of yeah. people living in, you know, like a well, what a homeowners association would actually be, you know? Yeah, without them being able to call the the daddy the, government. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, big big daddy state, you know. It's this thing where I think people are finally kind of waking up to how like completely horrible all these government programs are being ran. Like just today, headlines are coming out that Ben Carson found $551 billion of fraud, waste, or abuse already in his like first week 
of of being the HUD secretary. So you're going to oh, sit here and tell me course. in one week he's already found five hundred billion dollars worth of waste? This that doesn't happen in the private market. It doesn't. No one can afford to do that. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny because I was having all sorts of conversations uh, earlier today, and one in particular which blew my mind because it was one of those like, oh well, you know. Uh, that's not real capitalism, and real capitalism is evil, and socialism is so much better, and the United States isn't social, yada, yada, whatever, on and on. But um, the guy was very specific to make a point that nepotism was driven by profit motive, which what? makes no fucking sense does at all. What, like, does, does he know what the word nepotism, nepotism Does he know what the is word nepotism driven means? by profit motive? Is that what you just said? Yeah, and he came up with this bullshit like, oh, well, you know, wouldn't, you know, if you were in charge of a a big company and you were you guys were making lots of money wouldn't you want to just make sure you know, you're it was packed with your family so you guys just do what you wanted like what no why the fuck how is that? how is that how is that doing anything with it's to do with their company motive? they what, can do with it and hire well, who they want well, no but wouldn't you, okay wouldn't you well, rather but but even be but no, hold, but hold on ahead, a second jeremy, I'm, I'm just because <laughs> go ahead jeremy <laughs> if if they wanted to be surrounded by like their friends and family so they could all like basically you know they could all you know, relish and, and get rich off of this, wouldn't it be, if it was if it was driven by profit motive, wouldn't they be hiring people they didn't know so they didn't give a crap about them so they could pay them less so they could actually bring in more money? Well, not only that, but The like, argument both is both I, ways. Wouldn't you my want head family hurts right now. I don't care understand. about the company to make more profit? You would all be in line to make more profit. If you hire people you don't know outside of your family, you're going to hire them at a lower rate or whatnot, theoretically, and you're going to get more profit. Either way is profit seeking. What, what is this guy? Right. But, well, but, like? but I mean, even beyond that, like, cause he has this, he had this idea in his mind that like, Oh, you know, they're, they're all cronies. And you know, the, the only people that are going to be making the big bucks in that company are going to be, you know, the boss and the boss's son. And his nephew. they still like, think of the world so, in these geographical borders, what, Andre, they don't think right, of them. No, 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 them. but, but, but my my business. response to this was like, so who would you rather want running your company? Some outsider who's not related to you, who is highly qualified for the position, has a great list of credentials and a CV, or your shit lord nephew who like drives drunk and crashes his car and snorts cocaine off of hookers' asses on the you know every single day of the week, like yeah, how could you? Exactly. What? Well, like that, that does it the makes no guy sense. Sounds like it's much more fun to be retarded. around. You hire the second well, guy. <laughs> well, yeah, naturally. I'm naturally. kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, well, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I I don't see how any there's any possible way that that argument makes sense. That's why I'm saying I don't think he understands the meaning of the word. No, he has. He had no well, idea. He was like so far out there. It was incredible. I think some people just they get they 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 know something's wrong and they just don't like it. Like that's still like that's not, that, <laughs> they, they that know, explains occupied well, that's to just a not fair. That that explains occupy to it. They team, they man. know something's wrong and they're just like a man this is hell hell and capitalism in the patriarchy because that's what it looks like a bunch of rich white dudes screwing over everybody else. Well, it's not even hold up. It's not even necessarily let's what just, it looks let's like. Let's just it's, really it's what, look at this. It's what they're told the problem is. It doesn't exactly. It doesn't even look like that on the surface to most people and until they're told it. to look for it. Until they're told through the mostly Marxist, I, I guess, for lack of a better term, teachings that they receive in a lot of these matters, and it just is, you know, it's you're designed to be looked at as the oppressed at all times, no matter who you are, because you know. See, I, and I think we touched on this was it last week or the week before about you know we we're we're the biggest target for pretty much everything the the you know the uh, cis white guys <laughs> cis yeah, hetero white yeah. guys that's us we're uh yeah, we're, yeah what, I, I don't even know what cis means what does cis mean i forget uh, straight. it means no it doesn't mean no, straight it means cis, mean, cis means you believe there's, there's two means genders you're the accepted gender or that whatever, you were born that you're in, oh yeah that's right that's yeah. right that's right so you're straight basically so you're you're a guy no, and you identify as male yeah, that's, no, that's cisgendered. Yeah, that, that's I, I believe that's different than gay or straight, Dave. I think you can be. I think you could. Yeah, be, you're right. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I think you uh, could, it's layers. Like, of bullshit uh, like yeah. For example, if you're a gay and, man, and try to figure out. Yeah. Well, and, and actually, this actually ties back to uh, what we were talking about. Me getting uh, me getting my law degree. One of the things that I want to do after I get done practicing law, because I know it's going to be soul sucking and horrible, and eventually, you know, I'm going to have to do something else, or else I'm going to like blow my brains out over the wall. 
So um, we don't want that. I want I want to take that and teach. And the nice part about a law degree is you can get into positions where you teach ethics and logic and argumentation and debate and stuff like that. So Ooh. I would presumably have the opportunity to actually like get down into these topics with these kids under the guise of, oh, well, you know, well, we're discussing ethics and logic, right? And really just kind of hopefully break them down and force them to, so you know, tackle the, the, co- the huge cognitive dissonance that they're, they're going to deal with the minute they get, they get uh, approached by these ideas. In a, hunting? <laughs> yeah, I, something like that. Maybe, I don't know. All I know is if they're in the, if they're in the classroom like that, there's less of an in-group pressure to keep them like, you know, cause you know, like when you approach leftists as a group, it's, I mean, maybe one or two of them inside that group are going to be receptive to the message. But like, if they're all as a group, they become rabid, they become a mob, right? So it's yeah. almost impossible to reach them as but, a group. I mean, it's so a bunch of quote unquote capitalists, dude. Come on. <laughs> Imagine. Well, yeah. uh, no, no, you're, you're right. This is, well, this is, yeah, this is, and a commie found. comes up and is like, hey, can I talk to you guys about commie propaganda? It'd be like, uh, well, yeah, but that's because communism is. If you want to get a bullet hole or your ass whipped. Yeah, sure. That's, yeah, but that's basically because communism is awful, though. Oh. But no, you're right. You're right. Any any in group, any in group that that has more than a few members in one particular group, if you try and approach them <laughs> with a conflicting idea, they're just going to dismiss you out of hand, and they're going to enforce each other's bias. So you really can't get to them as a group. But maybe if you if you can get them to single single them out <laughs> and force them to, to look at it by themselves. But yeah, oh. so that's that's the, one of the other reasons I want to get my Juris Doctor is so that I can, you know, hopefully teach later down the road and and actually approach these kids in college where the, all of this crap really starts to, well, how you much? know, the the the, the buildup of garbage in their brain really starts to coagulate into oh, these horrible lines of thinking that aren't logical and have no consistency whatsoever. Well, how mu- how 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 much further down the line are you thinking of doing that? Only because you know, state state or not, government or not, uh, there's. I, I don't know if the higher education system is going to be looking anything like it does in ten, fifteen, twenty years. I I would say five. It's about no. it's a it's a bubble right now. So obviously, all the uh, only part arts only the financial... colleges are just going to completely collapse. But law law schools are always going to be around. So I don't. Well, I mean, see again. The I problem with lawyers know. is. Lawyers, I've, I've read a lawyers. bunch of articles and stuff recently. I, I can send them to you guys if you want, but the highest paying jobs in society are going to be the first to be roboticized. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what's going to happen. So like your managers, your lawyers, your notaries, all those kind of things, all that's going to be automated. I that's the the weird thing. How do you, yeah, that's how do you the, automate law? Well, not how do you. Well, you, you automate I mean, law you can very easily. <laughs> Well, I mean, smart contracts, right? But I mean, to be fair, drafting contracts and arbitrating disputes is still probably going to be something that's going to be handled. All right. By so, an AI thing. that has all eighty thousand federal, state, and municipal, and I don't town, know if... county, and all those laws is going to be able to better arbitrate anything than a, a regular judge that's going to have to sift through his brain to to keep up with the law. It's going to no, no, replace no, no. judges. No, I'm not talking immediately. Well, I... no, I'm not talking about judges specifically. I'm talking about like for civil litigation, for example. Because that a lot of that has to deal with negotiating between two people, right? And you act as a mediator. It'll be review the tape pretty soon, buddy. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> and I'm not no, saying, and no I'm not saying that there. Well, and I'm not saying that you couldn't create a platform for peer-to-peer arbitration, because, and I mean, the advantage there would be okay. Well, the arbitrator is necessarily neutral because the arbitrator is a fucking computer. So it's literally you just kind of put your put yeah, your put in your inputs and within parameters. gauge your outputs, yeah. right? But I don't know. I, That's kind of my point about it's, the, a robot. I, I'm like sure it will be. Right. And I'm sure all the laws, point, it would be like, holy shit, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Like would everyone would go to jail. Like, it, it would, he would just be <laughs> arresting people left and right. Yeah, including, including other cops. police officers. That's the seen, reason they want robot. Movie, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. It's you, hilarious, isn't it? They can't even enforce their own laws. Because they would sh- they would shut themselves down basically. Well, yeah, three, well, you you were saying uh, what were we talking about? It was three felonies a day, right? Well, that's American. The, that's oh the yeah, that was what I that, was the subtle Harvey note Silver I made that late or something. 
the guy's name he wrote the book on that i can't remember. no 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 like uh there's that you know that quote you know uh, the average american no, without even book, knowing no, it, it, create... it, it it comes from a book there was a guy a guy named Har oh. i believe his name is his name's harvey i think it's silver glade it's silver something i believe i think it's silver glade uh or something or along those lines but he's the one who he wrote a book on it because he went he did silver a, glade uh, harvey silver glade thank you glade not glade right with a t instead um, okay. Yeah, there you go. Um, he's he wrote a, he wrote a book, and I, that that's the title: Three Felony Three Felonies a Day. <laughs> and yeah. he, he outlines how you know, with all the insane l amount of laws and stuff that and the know, layers of them. Uh, yeah, and layers. I mean, up until actually, I don't even know how long ago is it. It, ha it was still in effect when I got let the the first time I got arrested <laughs> when I was in here in New York. Uh, there was there was class e felonies like you know all like a through e like they just like they just kept making ridiculous things felonies like my thing which was essentially I th they actually called it criminal mischief which was essentially like you know m um minor vandalism was considered a felony back in the day here <laughs> Oh yeah! So oh, yeah, that, that mischief statute across states is ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's not every anymore. state has one. They're all terrible. They're finally they're finally misdemeanor. They were they after after I was arrested for it, like years after that, they finally changed it to a misdemeanor. They <laughs> got rid of the class E altogether. Now they only I think they have class A through D felonies. But yeah, there's it's, so many it, on state, federal, and and federal levels, and some of them. I think one of them. I could swear. I, I may be wrong about this. We should probably, you know, probably look this up. But I just don't feel like wasting the time right now. If anybody, if either of you wants to look it up, uh, the uh, something like sharing medication that may actually. I think they might actually fall under felony status. Yeah, like giving yeah, away. If like, it's oh, class yeah. two. Yeah, it's class schedule two and or higher. People yeah. uh -huh. do For that sure. oh, yeah. constantly. And that was my. That was my little little fun answer that i noticed or whatever it was well it, the average american cre uh, has three felonies a day so that leads you to two, two conclusions either police officers aren't american they're some other class of citizen or every police officer is is, is has three committed. felonies a day it's and they need committed. to be arrested and stopped but so, so do you so do you and so do I. Well, so yeah, but I'm not trying to enforce yeah, the law. It's actually against the Constitution to uh, uh, try to enforce the law under color of law while you're, you know, also breaking the law. Yes, but until until they're convicted of breaking the law, they haven't actually broken the law. <laughs> they're not thinking about the three it's also, a day that they're committing. It's like Schrodinger's law. It's, yeah, exactly. It's broken and not broken at All the same time. Exactly. Well, that's the point of the <laughs> whole it. bullshit. If there's three law felonies that they could just come get you for any day of the week, um, then it's just a matter of the all-seeing eye looking at you for a few seconds for you to be screwed. Whoever's having a bad authority day, well, their authority's flaring right up, you know? Well, yeah. So that's why it's always people you know it's always recommended to just be polite if they you know and don't don't give them any grief because if they're already you know you don't want to agitate them because if they're Your already authority is awesome those are very nice shiny badges and shoes well yeah not here they make pills for that now <laughs> when your authority flares up your authority flares up yeah it's called sci sci it's well, it's, uh, it's a it's it's non-steroidal i know that Cyanide. No, Dave. I think it's cyanide. No, Dave. Or it's asbestos. That's what it is. Asbestos. <laughs> Here, take an asbestos pill. Call me in the morning. If you can still breathe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. What so is like, is it mesothelioma? The laws is that need to, to be toned down. I think everyone's at that point in America, liberal or not. I think people are like, yeah, I there's see, some. I, I don't know. Obama uh, added 50,000 laws in one year. That was just one year. So, is that laws or is that because there there's so many classifications regulations of are that. laws they're enforced at gunpoint <laughs> yeah that's what i was fixing to say like regulations have the force of law and it's it, it kills me that this is the case because they're not the regulations are are straight or well i mean obviously n none of us here are actually constitutionalists but from the constitutional <laughs> perspective from which these things arise regulations only regulate the federal agencies that they apply to that's all they're there for that's all they're mm -hmm. supposed to be there for 
Yeah. The, sa the <laughs> same way executive orders do not have the force of law except within the executive branch. They are only supposed to apply to executive officers of the federal government. It's the only people that executive orders are supposed to apply to. And yet, here we are. Again, not, not saying that any of us are constitutionalists here, but, you know, the point should still be made that like the, these are, these are things that have the force of law that are not in fact laws. So they're even more egregious than they normally would be. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, it's actually, that's, I was right, talking, I, I was I, talking I with somebody, uh, I can see that point. I was, I was talking with somebody at uh, a work. One of our customers came in and we were, we got talking about cars and safety and like, uh, how expensive cars are these days. And it's cause you know, the, the car industry, you know, car manufacturers want to get ahead of the curve and they want their cars to be, you know, the safest car on the road, like NHTSA, you know, safety pick top five for three years in a row or whatever. Well, the government's the thing usually a is, lagging indicator on the safety though, Andre. Did you know that? They're, they're a yeah, lagging no, indicator it, it, it on is, everything. It is. This is true. This is true. But the, 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 the reason why they're pushing, why the car companies push so hard, or I think part of it is because um, getting that sticker from the National Highway and Transportation Safety Authority, or what, I think that's what it is, administration, um, makes your vehicle much more attractive. So it, it's essentially anything that the NHTSA wants to put out or say is like a really good idea or, you know, or is unsafe, they become de facto regulations. So like the reason why these cars are so damn expensive is because car companies are constantly trying to outdo the NHTSA, which is just like making up arbitrary bullshit mm -hmm. for like, you know, oh, feel good things like, oh, you know, we need to have a billion airbags in the car because safety reasons. Yeah. And then and then they keep yeah. out cars like what was the last one? Wasn't it one of the Volkswagens they kept out? Was it last year or two years well, ago? It's a three-pronged reason they do that is so they can keep competitors that can't afford to keep up with all those regulations out of the market. It's to also keep their standard of their their soft monopoly, so to say, so intact that they're out-competing each other that have the soft monopolies in, intact. And so yeah. that's the real race is, is so, so like Volvo might be trying to out-security uh, Nissan or whatnot and – that's just they're just always competing with each other so we have this quasi capitalism that's happening within the car uh, companies but the 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 the, the whole industry has been like also quasi nationalized it's really yeah and then, really there, and then there's this and then there's this bottom floor under which like the bottom floor that the NHTSA basically establishes through their like safety guidelines or whatever which again are essentially de facto laws because nobody can produce a car that doesn't conform with nhtsa safety rules and regulations well, so you can but if, they're, they're going to give you a whole lot of shit about it <laughs> yeah you base it's basically like it's outside of the realm of any normal person trying to do business well yeah so maybe possibly if ford wanted to put out you know like a twelve thousand dollar car without any safety features in it they could but i mean th there's uh god what was it it was like some some dinky little car it didn't have any features in it it was like a, a two door you know coupe mm -hmm. tiny car great gas mileage got like 40 miles to the gallon or whatever didn't have anything on it i don't even think it had airbags and oh it can't have cannot that. be sold in the united states absolutely cannot be sold in the united states emission standards safety standards <laughs> cannot be sold can you imagine how many yeah. people could benefit from buying a brand new car for like 4 grand of or course 5 grand but that that yeah that that takes us back to but then those shitters would be all over the road. <laughs> yeah, but that takes us back that takes us back to our original conversation about people being too stupid to make that decision for themselves, so they exactly. can't allow that. <laughs> exactly. Of course, you're, you're well, 20 the, years old. The, you have a part time job. You you can't afford a brand. You can't you can't drive a car like this. You're you're stupid. You're just gonna kill yourself. Like what? No. Well, no. Uh, eventually they're going to ban manual driving on major interstates. I get, again, Dave, sure Dave, Dave, with his Dave with these bold declarations. After you see what's no, been going will. on, what you, you you see what's been going on with the the the, the recent tests of the uh, driverless cars, right? 
Yeah, yeah. I have not actually. I, I have iPhone not one. I think they're. I think they're still a little. The Uber ones have been crashing all over the fucking place. Yeah, I I'm think not talking about still, now. I'm talking maybe in 20 years. <laughs> I know, but you just. <laughs> but like before, what was what were we talking about before? You're like five years. That's it. Five years. That's all that's going to be left. It's coming quick, man. Uh, they, this, well, okay, I, I they already got the point. Certain things I wish would. The third prong was so that these huge auto companies, while well, it's accumulated soft monopoly money, they can then transfer that to senators and people and state senators to buy favor. So then the cycle kind of fills itself. The, the senators then apply for more regulations that then feed the company back and forth, back and forth. And then it's just a, who can lobby the right people to keep their other competitors out of the market so they can't compete. And it's almost like... Um, who can tattletell the best to to the to daddy? Like if you, if you have brothers, it's basically like who can lie the best. You, you know that game, and that's basically what the state does. Is it does that to all these grown men and grown women that run companies? <laughs> Actually, that's what that's what happened to Volkswagen a little while ago because they uh, they released a turbo diesel and they had to tone down the performance specs on it because it it, get, it got phenomenal gas mileage. I can't remember which one it was. It was, it was too recently, good. though. This is, oh, and then the gas companies go, this, was the, this is outrageous. That's the one I There's was talking about. There's standards in place. That's the one I was talking about earlier. They, would, they wouldn't yeah. allow it in because it's, it's, it's well, basically no, they, they it's did. too efficient. Initially, initially, they did. Initially, they did because Volkswagen tuned down their tester cars so that they would pass the diesel emission tests. Mm -hmm. and then they tuned them back up to where their baseline performance was supposed to be, which was only like a fraction of a percent more on in terms of emissions than what they were before. It was yes. like 0.03%, I think, more. But the fact that they like did a bait and switch, it just like it, it, they turned everybody nuts, and they were like, oh, my God, I can't believe they did this. This is bullshit. Like, look, they're lying. They're, I, they're I love, I love Volkswagen blah, 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 blah. for that. I love that. I love that move. I thought that was great. <laughs> I thought that was spectacular. I was like, damn right. There you go. Oh, yeah, that was sure. great. Like, sure, I, sure, I sure. You were testing. I was like, check, check them out. Yeah. Look, check them out. See, That's here you go. That's fucking awesome. Why are we crucifying? Why are we crucifying Volkswagen? They should be lauded as heroes. Yeah. Like, this is the shit that I would do if I could get away with it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Well, yeah, but I mean, because <laughs> I, I use a similar example in my own life where, you know, people, you know, when people say that you know you can't get certain things without that's like yeah well like my point you know i i have to i'm forced to pay certain taxes like you know i i have to pay a gas tax because i can't guess gas otherwise if i try to make it in my garage they'll really get pissed off at me you know yeah, so it's going to be like orders of magnitude worse for i me. know people that have tried that it didn't go well so <laughs> <laughs> like i don't have a choice i have to pay that so you know uh, that the, you know people don't they don't but they don't they don't grasp that that this is what you're you're literally forced into these things and even if there isn't a an an outward looking monopoly it's it really it really it's like you know there's just these there's a couple of groups that have been uh given a forced monopoly by the state you know it's the same thing with uh like uh, mo mobile carriers you know cell phone carriers there's usually only a couple available in the area. Cable companies too; they don't allow all of them around yeah. here. Um, you know, there's only a couple that are allowed in, and the bar is set at a certain level that's just high enough to keep most people out, and just low enough that the other, that the bigger companies who are getting the special favors can absorb it. You know, it's the same way. It works the same way in in the in the form of government with the penalties for violating the the regulations and all this stuff. The penalties are set at a level that are just high enough that they'll cripple a small business. <laughs> so a lot of people yeah. won't even bother getting into business in the first place, knowing that that's a possibility. But almost all regulations can be skirted, or they can be. To an like, extent, it depends. It depends it, again. It depends. It depends on the industry. It depends on who your competitors are, and if they already have a leg up in that regard with 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 gaining special favors. Oh yeah, it does have this huge barrier to entry to even try to fight the regulations. Well, yeah, or that's what I'm saying. Around them. That's what I'm saying. A lot. Of, a lot of times, it's not a matter of somebody trying and then running into the regulations and then having a problem. A lot of people end up. 
not go. I mean, even myself, before I started my own company, when I had come up with other ideas, I ran into problems where I wasn't going to be able to afford the insane licensing structure they wanted me to follow and the permits and all this stuff to do other projects yeah. I was thinking of. And it's like, well, I can't do that right now. I got to move on to something else because I can't afford Licenses, to do that. Licenses, permits, inspections, all of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it definitely, it, it keeps people from getting in in the first place, you know, from even starting something, which is really unfortunate because again, Again, it's in the end, the, what they're saying is because you're too stupid to choose to do business with somebody who isn't following our, our guidelines. You know, we won't well, even allow you that see, to Jeremy, happen. You have to understand that some of these industries are utilities and they can't be left to the free market because then people will fall through the cracks. And then so, poor people won't have got, access got to Florida Gotta let water. government handle oh, wait a minute. it. So, so you're saying that nobody falls through the cracks right now, right? No. Oh, no, it, no, no, no. 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 You're not saying that, or no, they don't <laughs> fall through the cracks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, exactly. That's what I thought. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Proving my point. Thank yeah. you. Man. That, was, that was great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No problem. <laughs> I don't know if I was that like was channeling Jimmy Stewart or like, <laughs> it was something like that. Doing, but but was... <laughs> something like that. Mitch McConnell. <laughs> yes, yes, Mitch McConnell. Fuck. Not Mitch McConnell. Don't you think of? Isn't that the senator? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're thinking From Kentucky. Kentucky. I thought you were th thinking of somebody else. Or Arkansas? No, Kentucky. No, it's well, it's well, Kentucky because he was with, he's with Rand. It's Kentucky. right. That's right. Yeah, Rand. it is. Mitch, it's yeah. It's the only yeah, reason yeah. I know that. Stand with Rand. No. No, I will not. <laughs> Hashtag Rand Paul. Fuck Rand. <laughs> Come half on the, now. Rand's a good just, guy. Just, 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 uh, just a tip and half the He's just trying to shaft. change it from the inside. He's not trying to change much. Who knows, man? There's so much shit going on in the background right now. There's no telling what's going on. There's always stuff going on in the background, Dave. That's it's how really it works. What's I'll tell you up. what's definitely going on in the foreground. Those fucking white helmet fucks in Syria. Yeah, what the heck's go what everything. the hell's that all about? I I so, I so don't pay attention to You want me to, to the read news. the headline? I'm just reading about it right now. Well, I've read go, headlines. Go on, please. Trump condemns a side which goes against the interests of Russia. Putin's spokesman declares support for Assad is not unconditional, demands a full investigation. Trump can now work alongside Russia exposing source of attacks. So all <laughs> of it I think out. it might have been I think it might have been employed by the U.S. military or whoever to fake it, so that or Russia maybe to fake it, so that that could be the ploy, so well, they could just skip this whole Russia America neg uh, narrative. There, I, I don't know. The the, only, one of the headlines I caught, which I'm sure was from one of those like more conspiratorial, conspiratorial sites, was something about the fact that you know the white helmets were. This out was there. on the AP. Not that one. I'm talking about another story, Dave. Uh, that that the, the white helmets were out there directly after the ta attack, and and like nobody was even wearing gloves or anything, despite their. Oh know. yeah, yeah. And I brought that up. I, and I've brought that up in a couple of places because having been in the army, I know what you do when sarin gas is deployed or any Wait, neurological do do? or chemical agent. Don't you're in MOP four. You're in like maximum protective posture. Yeah, right. You have gloves on yeah. protective suit so we'll know mask. if it's a false flag if, if all those people that were touching all those quote-unquote dead body also die if they don't then it was fake because not one of them was in well floor. okay but okay so I, I i hate i hate using those two terms um synonymously because because a false flag doesn't necessarily mean it was fake well, of course, it just means it was it was conducted for the purposes of or no, it, or it could actually be. I think party. It, I think it actually it doesn't have to be conducted for that purpose. I, as far as I as far as I'm aware, it could also be something that was done and then used after the fact, like that that was the reasoning used. You know, um, like that's uh, the Gulf of Tonkin because that wasn't done by design, as far the as I know. Gulf of Tonkin. Yes, thank you, Jesse. The oh. Gulf of Tonkin. <laughs> Jesus Every Christ. time someone says the Gulf of Tonkin, that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> the, the Gulf of Tonkin, the, the, the very that very Gulf, Jesse. Yes, because uh, that you know that was something the that Bering was done. Strait and they use the Asiatic shell. I'm just naming seas. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, no, I, okay, I totally see. I that totally was used see what as you're it's used too. as an yeah. excuse, you know. Right, um, right. I got you. 
Because so many people hear that word and they just, uh, again, mo- this is usually mostly people that uh, are more of the statist variety. They tune the word, f- the phrase false flag out because they think people are calling it fake. Cause, and a lot of people are, like the more conspiratorial stuff. But this one, if that's the case, I mean, I've seen some pictures, but those could be from anywhere. Because, I mean, how many times are stories? I've seen some of the stuff, uh, the videos of them, like, showing the people that are, like, dead or whatever. And, like, like some people are, like, opening their eye like peeking at them and stuff like see like <laughs> so it yes it but might the, be a staged thing staged you, is what i meant like but do you see anybody the are the people who you know the the workers the the helpers are they covered in any are they covered in anything or are they just walking around with no gloves and no masks no they're just walking around running around like a damn fire with it yeah like, so that like doesn't chinese they, yeah they have they have dust like, masks on like the stuff that you'd wear if you were you know putting insulation mowing some in, grass or or, yeah, exactly. or painting because you, you know doing the same right, thing for painting right. <laughs> yeah never I mind gotcha. the fact that like contact with sarin even in vapor form on your skin can be deadly well, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Ya. So that that seems it seems to make that whole story a lot, whole lot less plausible. And then, then they screwed plausible. themselves, right? Because uh, John Kerry, before Obama got out, said that there was no no uh, chemical WMD, no weapons. chemical weapons. We got rid of all the chemical weapons. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it, okay, Assad could just be like, we gave them all away. We don't know. Yeah, you heard us. the you heard the guy. We gave we don't have any. <laughs> You're either calling oh, well, the, the well, esteemed buddy's, John buddy's Kerry a flat-out liar. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, so. that's not really much of a stretch. <laughs> no, he is. He's a big liar. Well, you know what? He's though? a liar, you know what, a socialist, though, and his that, feet stink. Yes, but if they did that, like the, can you imagine how the Democrat, like the Democrat left, the liberals would be like, uh, oh, I, no, you're just, you're, you're just lying. No, no. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, that's oh. what I always think about. <laughs> how can i just put it like how can i just put their foot in their mouth so they can't say anything unless they, or if they say something it's going to make them cra- sound crazy and that's, oh, that's the, yeah that's or the make goal. them sound even worse than they like oh the, but they, they don't care is. they don't care i mean a prime example is what was it not even a month ago maybe yeah i guess because the when the healthcare was it the healthcare bill or no what was the other bill that was uh was it yeah it might have been the healthcare one where pelosi was uh, was complaining that you know they basically wanted to ram it through without letting any without letting anybody see oh, it first yeah yeah and you know which juxtaposed with her statement about obamacare and i actually ran into multiple people who tried to justify that by claiming that they it was take you're taking those out of context it's like no, I read. No, I, geez, I, I remember. Actually, I remember. Wait, th- no. I remember the press conference of her saying that. Like no. I remember watching that yes. live. And yeah, when I she remember, was Speaker of the House. Yes, and I and I've read the entire transcript of the of the talk she gave the other day, where this came from. So I have the context, but there, people are wait, actually still wait. trying to say that the, that you know that, that that's how much the dissonance is there. Like they really God, don't want to see it. Actually, people like that. no, I didn't either. I didn't either until I ran. No, like, they're I, blind, man. They're blind, and they got the attention of, of a gnat. Well, yeah. I mean, we I, we've talked about it plenty of times. And it's like, well, it's okay for us to do all this evil shit, but it's really bad for you guys. As long as my guys win, and like the the most average Democrat voter or average Republican voter has nothing in common with the average Republican and the average Democrat. You know, the actual people elected in 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 state. Well, Government. yeah, nobody does. You have, you know, that's that's an example used about stuff overseas too. Like you have, you know, most people don't realize that you have so much more in common with the, you know, the brown people on the other side of the world who you don't seem to care about getting bombed the crap out of than you do with any of the any of the politicians, whether you like them or not. You yep. know, you know, it's just because people don't, you know, the dissonance again. People just don't recognize it, and 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 yeah, you would think that people would most people and hopefully mo- more people are seeing like that blatant hypocrisy because it's so hard to ignore that when you have like an ex- especially an example like that because you have yeah where it's just it's glaring it's right there like it, it, you can't possibly without just like tying yourself into a pretzel you can't argue against that there's no way you can argue against that the most you can do is just offer like ineffectual platitudes like oh well it was taken out of context well exactly like, that's not what she meant exactly because it's and like that's not an argument that, that's nothing <laughs> exactly that's nothing. because she's you have we're moving to a world where you can't bullshit anybody anymore because they've got a phone in their pocket they can just look it up and part of the state existing is bullshitting people 
most into of the, believing into a system. Most of what the state is and, is bullshitting people. <laughs> yes, and they're waking up to it now because more people are getting uh, smartphones and, and, and more people have access to knowledge that they otherwise uh, wouldn't have. And uh, Yeah, but again, there's... And there's only so many times where you can be like, why is everything that the state is involved with utter well, complete but shit it, but again, except for killing people yeah but again, maybe we should stop that maybe hopefully but oh well, but at, dave then the then the warlords would take over then we'd have you know crazy aka and another cra person would try to be forming a state so we should no, kill them no no we would have anarchists with like recreational nukes just killing each other left and right <laughs> phones would be exploding on by our faces you know food would be toxic uh, just horrible like the 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 sun would explode you know it'd be perpetual night the world would die okay <sighs> cats and dogs living the together. water filters would be useless utter chaos utter chaos so. <laughs> it'd be mass hysteria that sounds like a that sounds like a good way to wrap the show up utter chaos yes mcnukes <laughs> mcwarlords with mcnukes warlords with mcnukes yeah that sounds like the, uh, see the thing sounds is, like a life the corporation, the corporation, quote unquote, McDonald's wouldn't exist. Like the company McDonald's exist, but I don't know if they'd be selling McNukes. <laughs> they, they would. Might. They would. Certain people. You, might you never know. Them. They might just be with, have, your, with have their happy meals. Nuclear stuff with their yeah, happy. They meals. would with their happy meals. It'd be like you know plutonium, plutonium peat. Well, but you'd have like well by then you could probably have like wallet wallet sized nukes that you could sell in the vending machines alongside bullets and uh, you know heroin, uh, which, you could just which have of course bullets, be put outside right? which of, or which, rounds, which of course will be put outside. They have of, nuclear the bombs schools. in them. Each little round is a nuclear a mini nuclear bomb. Duh. That's what I, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for my you know AR-15 platform fully automatic machine gun with depleted with, uranium with rounds. With DU <laughs> on it. Oh, with man, DU, every right. round is DU. That's right. Yeah. And then it's all it's all cheap through the magic of the free market, the <laughs> unseen hand. <laughs> if if Andre can't get depleted uranium shells at his house via drone delivery at four a.m. in the morning, he doesn't want to live there. Just <laughs> letting right. you know, absolutely not. Well, I uh, I may stop by to visit your covenant community, Andre. I don't know if I'm going to want to live there though. That seems a little extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we safe. we uh we can no we can source outside. out our protection services. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. We're we're a global we're a global initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, someone right. I, think oh, I think that's I think that I think that's a pretty good place to wrap up. Yeah, I, th I think we should stop before uh, we get any crazier with these ideas and we turn we turn any new listeners that we have off to be, be like, what the hell are these guys talking about? Oh my god, libertarians and anarchists really are crazy. <laughs> They're insane. We are, but we're crazy and right. Or, 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 or any fellow and, you know that's a good when you're crazy right it's just fun yeah well i was, I was gonna say also plus honey, we're just great people to be around that's debatable but <laughs> we huh <laughs> question mark sorry all right well on that note we will get wrapping up so this has been the seeds of liberty podcast all of our information can be found at the crappy little little website called the seeds of liberty dot com uh, we do have a Patreon page. Uh, we actually did put an episode up. I said I was going to do it. I actually got an episode up. Yeehaw. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to start doing more of that. Uh, I got to try to find some time and some content that's, uh, worthy of being put up there that, you know, should be behind a paywall. Although some people complain cause they didn't get to hear it. And I'm like, really? I don't have it. We don't have any kind of like system set up. All you have to do is like donate once. I think like a dollar and you'd get to listen <laughs> yeah. to it. Like that's it. Oh, sorry. You had to get a dollar. <laughs> How dare you? So obviously, we're not worth that much to the them. first. We char we charge one side episode. <laughs> Seriously, episodes in. Seriously. Our, our Patreon. Yeah, we we've had. A it's a good episode. Everyone gets thoroughly raked over the coals by Jeremy. <laughs> Just you and Danello, I, really. Yes. <laughs> mostly Danello. I only I only ragged on you for a little while. Poor Danello. It was mostly Danello. That's all I said. I was listening to it and I texted Jeremy. I said, poor Danilo. <laughs> she, well, because she kept setting me up with stuff. I know. <laughs> she's, she's horrible. She's like, like yeah, that. what about Danilo? And you'd say, blah, blah, blah. she'd be like, yeah, I can't believe Danilo. And you'd be like, I know. Because <laughs> she knew I was, I was already high and she knew I would start rambling. 
<laughs> you're like, oh yeah, we've been doing the last two episodes of our podcast with old Mike, and you were just like, you just she did lost four. <laughs> yeah, she did, he did four. He he put out four recordings, and he's put out. Oh, I'm gonna start rambling on him again here. All right, no, let's not go on this, folks. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening yeah. to the yes. Liberty uh, so anyway, Podcast. So anyway, page, Patreon, yes, the, the link will be in the show notes. But please check us out and consider donating because we're gonna try to put more content on on there soon, and uh, at least to help uh, us. Don Rickles is dead. Yeah, I saw that earlier. That was uh, kind of sad. I, 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 I always loved him. Um, so, man flies hoverboard across Atlantic. Oof. Dave, right, anyway, you should have, you should you should have stop. stopped. You should have stopped that Rickles was dead. All right. So this again, this has been the Season Liberty podcast, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Peace. I, who doesn't want a hoverboard? This is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. I've run websites since 1996 and have used over a dozen web hosts in that time. Agoristhosting.com is the only one that hasn't broken my heart. Agorist Hosting's uptime and service is stellar, and their DDoS mitigation is the best I've seen. That's important because if you tell the truth in this world, you'll ruffle feathers. No matter what the haters hit us with, Agorist Hosting keeps our websites online. If you have a mission-critical commercial presence or a world-changing activism site, go with agoristhosting.com. Are you sick of government lackeys who say you didn't build that? Are you tired of elitists who think you need a government permission slip for everything? Everything you do is an A to B conversation and the government should see their way out of it. Create true free markets by adopting the Bipcot No Government License. The Bipcot No Gov License allows user modification of any product, service, or software except by governments or government agents. Go to bipcot.org. That's Bravo, India, Papa, Charlie, Oscar, Tango.org.